So here we are with my full set of cams. I actually have two sets. Um, the green ones I find are easier to read for me. So I quite like them. And then they all these cams. So this, this uh, here, if I zoom in, try again. You can see all of the different cam patterns that are available for this machine. Now those are the standard. That doesn't mean if you you can get other stuff if you play with these the the modifier as well. You can length them, shorten them. But there are some pretty funky ones. Um, the wave, the Roman sort of pattern, fish, trees, ducks, all sorts of funny things. Then you got your cross stitch, your Christmas trees, your leaves, um, the vine type. You know some really nice, fun stitches. So what I thought, I like this heart one as well, I think that's particularly fine. And these are your non-reverse basic stitches, which are all these orange ones. So what I thought I would have a little fun is show the... How about the duck? 32. There's 30. There's 32. So it shows the duck. Now. To do this, you release the cam, pull, now this one's not been on, it's very, what they recommend is usually the number in the top, which is what I've done, and then release it, that seems to definitely be in there secure. I've got it on maximum stitch width, though I don't necessarily know that that has to be that way maximum stitch with. Now I need to turn this over to cam. Okay, so it's on cam now. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll adjust, put the modifier on in the middle and see how it looks and then adjust it accordingly. So I'm going to zoom back out. Off we go. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'd say that's a bit of a big duck and also a bit loose on the tension. So we'll put that down to small or to short for the modifier and see if we get a more normal looking duck. So I'm not going full tilt. Of course you can if you want. Okay, that's a bit too, too close together, so we'll reduce the ducks are a bit, oops, broke the thread again. Not sure if this is where I got this needle from. I'm feeling it probably was one in this machine or something, and it's probably not ideal. Okay, they look like ducks. A little smaller. What I'll do is I'll zoom in on the zoomed in on the action so you can see the ducks. So they're kind of fun. Okay. Now apparently, I'm not a pro at this yet. Ah yes, there is a way. So if you don't, the one thing I've never liked about the singer is it's really difficult to figure out where the start of the pattern is. You have to sort of follow it and watch it, but with the, the reversing ones, it's much more difficult. With the singer, you can just guess and figure it out. Um, the Elnos have that cam pattern mo matcher. However, this does have a cam start on the top, and I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so what you'll notice is this cam start here. That's a little indicator. So I believe, let's just see where it if it's the number. 
what you've got to line it up with. Okay, so there's the tail. Ah! That's it. Right. Okay, there's a little... I'm going to release the cam pattern. I'm get the needle out of the fabric. Okay, so there's a dot right there, which you line up with that, and that's the end of the pattern. So that's pretty nice. I like that. That is very smart and really helps a lot for making sure you can always line up your cam patterns. Where's the, there's the pin. Here we go. So that really is good to be able to know that you can line that up. Neat. Start of the pattern right there. It just spins around. So if you want to do one, just wait till it comes around and you're done. Release the cam, pop it out. So it definitely releases better if you don't have one of these um, lips over top of the cam follower. So sometimes it can get a bit stuck, so you need to sometimes make sure you're not there. So let's do one more for fun. So I quite like 24, which is this heart thing. So we will try and get this to go easily in. Yeah, that went in nice and easy. And then what we'll do is sew to the start. So there's the start of the pattern. So, on short modifier, we're getting a bit of a heart together look. Now if we do the long modifier, let's see what happens now. So I've... ...reduced the stitch length as well. Sometimes you need to play with both to find out where it looks like what you want. So we might find this is a bit too wide, so if I reduce the stitch width, I think it might look a little more attractive. And let's reduce the modifier a bit as well. That's better. So now it looks like kind of what we want, very attractive. Well, that's a really nice look. So sometimes you do have to play a bit, but the fact that you can play means you could have it huge, or you could completely change the look and have that instead. Which is pretty funky. So if you want that, and then you could actually get a different color fabric and sew in there if you want to, just manually using the zigzag or something like that. Or you just do it like that and it looks very smart. So here we have where we started. And you have big swans and you change them to little, little chickadees. Back to the swans and then obviously I made them all very close together. So you can really do a lot of adjustments on this, which is, and same with this, you can see how you can do the smocking, or you can make it very different than smocking, just a totally different look, and then multi-point zigzag, and rickrack, 
it sews really well, and then on the reverse side, um, I would say it's probably given that a bit too tight in the bobbin. So I might have to uh, loosen the bobbin tension a bit. Well, there it's okay. Yeah. Definitely say, but it's laying flat, so it's definitely a bit of a bobbin adjustment. Otherwise it would be puckering all the fabric, but it's not. So just loosen the bobbin a bit and it'll be fine. That's really sweet, sewing very nicely.